Hello everybody, it is I, the Willowigi Big Mac, and welcome back to Wario World! And yes, I'm going to do that every single time when I say the title of the name because I love doing the Wario voice. It's a me, Wario! Ah, 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 ah. Anyways, the last time we, uh, we beat up this, uh, we cleared the Spooktastic Mansion. I think that's, I think that's the name of the, uh, previous level. I think so. Oh no, Horror Manor. I, I, I was thinking of Spooktastic World, that's what's the name. Uh, the Spooktastic, the Spooktastic part of what I just said was, na was the name of the world. Uh, anyway. Next up, we're heading to, I think this is called Wonky Circus. Yep, Wonky Circus. Ugh. That's the hiccups. That ain't good. Uh, hopefully that won't, uh, interrupt me during this, uh, recording. Clowns! Also, this is when these small guys will start hurting you. Yes, run away, you coward. Uh, anyway, there's pie launchers. Uh, more clowns. Bigger clowns with the tail. What kind of circus? Oh, there's a bomb. Alright, alright, I guess I'll ignore you. Okay, what do you have what do you have to say, friend? An electric clown fence is blocking the road ahead. This might get ugly. Listen, hit the target as best as you can. If you can hit them hard, you down this fence in no time. Alright, so I'll explain the fence when we get Whoa, okay. I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll, I'll explain the fence, uh, a bit later, when we get to it. Right now, we're just gonna run past here. Uh, well, there's, where's the chest? There's the chest we just opened. Uh, boop. Uh, we got a bugle. A very colorful one at that. Uh, how did I not land on, how did I not land on that platform? Alrighty then. Yeah. Oh boy, this one, eh? Alright, this one's simple. You just have to, uh... This one you have to be very careful, but, uh... Yeah, you just... Yeah, basically, there's a little opening there. Let me just grab you. There's the exit. Uh-oh! Hit... Yeah. Anyway. Alright, hold up. I'm... I'm stealing you. Here's the electric fence. You want to e defeat it easily? Excuse you! I was talking here! Uh, if you can... If you can throw, uh... If you can use a, a mega... A mega toss. Well, assuming that clown wasn't there. Yeah, it's kind of hard to do, but if you can hit this thing with the Mega Toss, uh, it will instantly take down the uh, the barrier. There we go. Like I said. Uh, headed with it with a fully charged mega toss, it'll kill in one hit. So that's something you want to keep in mind. Also, there's birds. All right then. Okay, so this one probably, probably easier by uh. There we go. Yep. Also, use the C stick to your advantage. All right, this one. Uh, I need to remember how to do this again. Uh, cool, the A button didn't uh, pop out. Uh, yeah, just da yeah, just damage booster at, <laughs> at that rate. There you are. Up, oh, mini boss. Hello, friend. I I forget what the blue one does because we seen red. We seen uh. 
Okay, so that's what the uh, blue one does. It's just kind of shoots a delayed projectile. Funny how I can knock him out of the barrier and grab him out of the barrier. There we go. Wow! Alright then. <laughs> she gets stuck in there. Alright, that's that's brilliant. Uh, how do I get this one again? Alright. All right, so this one's uh, quite the doozy, I tell you. I love that sound effect. But yeah, uh, this one's quite a doozy. So you have to get over to uh, right there. gonna have to you're gonna want to uh, get there in plenty of time where uh... yeah like that's the tricky part about this one uh, just trying just trying to get to the right spot honestly the C stick doesn't really help too much in my opinion uh, let's let's try going uh, the other way I'm at the right spot. Huh. Going for it. Damn it! Oh. Huh. That happened. They did. Huh. Well, this is interesting. Uh, this might be one of those ones where I might have to do it off screen in order to get it. But I guess right now, I guess I'll continue recording. Alright, where am I relative to where I need to be right now? Oh, okay. Uh, back where I started, huh? This is the one I want. Uh... Now it's off by one. Oh well. All right then. Well, I will be right back. It's... I'll be. I'll just jump to when I actually get onto that mill platform because I think at this rate you guys got the gist on how this one works. Alrighty, and as you guys may see, I finally got there. Honestly, that that the next attempt I did after I stopped recording was the, was the one. So, uh, whoops. But it doesn't matter. Like I say, I'm pretty sure you guys got the gist of how this one works. Again, not too difficult, but uh, I'm also someone who, who dislikes repetition. Don't like doing the same thing over and over again. Because I would presume that my audience, uh... At this rate, we'll probably figure out. Oh, so that's how you do it. Anyways, I didn't collect all the coins, but that doesn't matter. Uh, quickest way to climb up ladders would be to jump up. Now these things, you have to run into them, and then you get launched. I got another piece there. And we're halfway done with that. Let's see. Uh, I need to make sure. Uh, cool, I press the A button. Thank you, game. Uh, 
Ah! Alright then. Alright, let's go this way first. Aha! Yellow button. We haven't, we haven't been pushing those buttons, have we? Surely it'll be here somewhere. Well, first off, we have this thing. Let's go this way. Yeah, so this one's pretty easy. Uh, this game is very generous, where it shines a light on what you're going to be throwing it at. I, I forget what you get. God damn it. Yeah, if you walk too far, uh, everything resets. So, please be careful with that. Keep forgetting to hold in the beat button when I'm not pushing anything. Is the, uh... Is the uh, the shoulder bash? Is that? There we go. I was about to say, uh, we're gonna respawn. Get out of here! I'm a Wario. I'm gonna throw this ball at this uh, this flamingo pin-looking thing. Oh, you just get coins or health. Alright, let's check up here. Punch. And... We got ourselves a, a tambourine. Alrighty, and let's, uh... See what's right here. Uh... Oh, that looks like progress to me. Alrighty then. So, we're gonna go the other way. And check what's over there. Also... My watch keeps going off, and it's starting to annoy me. Because notifications. Alright. It sure, it sure would be nice if you could peek around a little to see what's coming up next. Well, you could, using C-Stick to take a look around. You can't peek very far, though. Oh yeah, you can do that, huh? Yeah, so... Yeah, so that is kind of useful. Personally, I personally I don't really. Personally, I don't. Re God damn it! Anyways, yeah. So personally, I like to keep it in the middle. Cause I, cause, cause I can do this perfectly fine. Anyway, now it's time to run. Quick, let's dive into this uh, area right here. All right, so this one, this one isn't that bad. Just gotta wait for the uh, for the for the spiky ball to uh, get out of your way, and then you have to uh, land on the uh, on the or or my A button would, or my A button uh, decided to not press there. Not sure if it's me or I think my I think my. My old reliable GameCube controller is starting to show wear and tear, huh? This is unfortunate because I had this bloody thing forever. Great bastard. Well, I got lucky there. Punch you. Oh, please give me some health. Okay. And then we have another button we have to push here. Yep, and then we're just going to jump down here. Then we got ourselves a triangle. You know, you know, all my life of playing uh, in like in like community band and uh, school band, uh, I rarely see a triangle. Also, remember those bull things? Yeah, they're, they're crocodiles here in the uh, in what looks what looks to be a maid outfit, I think. Up, oh, up! Oh, look at these funny guys. These guys are funny. Yep, uh, they're they're smart fellas. They're smart fellas. Well, unfortunately, to me, to me, 
they're nothing but fart smellers. Oh boy, this one. <laughs> All right, let's see here. I missed entirely. I missed entirely. All right, it might help if I uh, jump off like an idiot. Yeah, so this one's tricky because you have to. Uh, okay, there we go. And then this one's. Uh, yeah, that one you gotta be careful because you get flung. Uh, let's let's try it. Let's. Let's see if it's easier if I do it this way. Yeah, like, this one isn't even that hard. It's just... It's just... Honestly, I think this... The, the first part... <sighs> there we go. And then we have to, uh... There we go. What? See? See? Wasn't that hard. It wasn't hard. Yes. So, so, so in the old Let's Play, I ground pounded through there and accidentally went onto the extra area. I'm not going to do that because where was that green button we pressed? Yeah, the chest was right there. And we got ourselves a clarinet. There we go. Now we can move on to the next area. I missed. And the game decided not to ground pound. Thanks, game. Oh, you. You are the easiest thing ever. Oh. Alright, let's see. What do I want to do with you, huh? I know. There. There we go. There's, there's the big explosion I love. Excuse me? Well, I guess we're down here. Luckily, there's water air everywhere, so getting rid of these bombs to stun them is very easy. I think I went through the uh, this to the uh, to Unithorn Lair uh, in the first one, in the first level of this world. Oh hi! There we go. Oh yeah, watch out for the fire! You're gonna automatically get sent. Uh, down to to uh, Unithorn land. Yep, it's pretty much just this. Aha! There we go. Oh, this one. All right, this one requires timing. And just like that, we got it. This is really useful around here, so listen up. You can do a dash attack by pressing the R button. Isn't that great? Yep. The game waits for... The game waits to tell you that... You oh, you can just do that. Uh, with the R button. Thanks, lads. Anyway, then. Let's just continue. Oh, those, uh, those bird things, like, drop bombs now. Probably should have mentioned that. Punch that. I, I would love it when if my ape buttons 
would actually work. Dude, all right. Get you out. Wario, are you using the garlic dispensers? If you don't have much confidence in your skill, then collect coins to buy garlic. The price of, of garlic increases as you advance in the game. And each time you buy garlic. Well, not really each time you buy garlic. Rather, it's more or less... It's... Rather, it's more or less... Uh, if you buy too much garlic. Like, let's just say you suck at the game. Yeah, the game's gonna punish you for sucking, so... So, honestly, as long as you don't... Do... As long as you don't play stupid, you should be fine. <sighs> Again, love it when my controller doesn't have, like, the... Uh, my A presses. Anyway, how do you guys feel up to some arena? Again, remember, like I said, when we encounter our first arena in uh, episode two, uh, just spin the win. Although these birds are really annoying to, to hit. Okay, we're gonna grab another one of these. Uh, where's the other enemies? Cool, thanks, game. Yeah, we still have one left over because, uh, well, the game didn't spawn any more enemies, so. Bip. Or we'll go up here first. Man, I'm so glad we went up here. We found a button. Alright, then. Ow. And just like that. Saxophone. Actually, actually, what kind of saxophone is that? From the looks of it, it looks it looks to be a tenor saxophone, uh, and the reason why I can tell is because the neck piece right there, where the uh, where the mouthpiece is, uh, has a little curve. Uh, tenor saxophones tend to have a little curve and also looks taller than an alto, which are generally smaller. I play I play the alto, so that's just how I'm able to that's how I'm able to, to tell what kind it is. Oh, well, that's where that one is. And just like that, we defeated that one very easily, so, uh... Also, let's mess with the elephants real quick. Hello, friends. <laughs> yep. Uh, you can also cause them to hurt each other. Uh, now, unfortunately, they don't in fight like Doom, which is unfortunate. But uh, hey, if you if if you always give me an opportunity to uh, mess with AI, specifically enemy AI, I'm all for it. Uh. Well that, well that happened. Oh, you're back. Actually, fuck you. Hey, 
All right then. There we go. We got ourselves a drum, and... Hmm, I wonder what the last one is. It could be anything. It could be a trumpet. It could be a flute. There's no, there's no way of telling. Might as, well, might as well press that, cause well, we're only missing one item, only missing one friend, and we're missing two two gold pieces. I don't. I see now. Why? Well, well, I know where the last two pieces are, and I missed because uh, this game hates me right now. There we go. Now we're only missing one piece. Get it? One piece. Uh, it's not an instrument. It's a Nintendo 64. So yeah, every second level of each world has a Nintendo console, so this time it was a Nintendo 64. Like, you would've... And you would've thought that Super Nintendo was next. Uh, apparently they went for the 64, which is weird because... Uh, Nintendo... Now, like, I told this way, Nintendo kind of views the 64 as somewhat of a failure. But that's just because it's competition at the time. Uh, PS1 did better. I don't know if it... I don't know if the 64 did, be did better than the Saturn or not. But yeah, considering it was up against the PlayStation, uh, it was still a cartridge-based console. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's one of those. Uh... Okay. Alright, now what? what's this one? Oh boy, this one. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I hope you guys are good for, uh, platforming. Alrighty. Uh, my A button did not work? Thank you, game! <laughs> Actually, that, that wasn't really the game's fault. It's more like my controller's fault. Alright, this one, uh... Yeah, that one's... There we go, it wasn't that hard. And just like that, we got all the statues. It's Wario laughing, what do you know? And I'm pretty sure we got all the, uh... Oh! We missed the gem. How is this possible? Well, this ain't good. Well, I'll be right back, guys. I get Oh, never mind. I don't even need to do a jump cut. I just found it. There we go. Oh! And this is where the last guy is. Yeah, I forgot. We needed to collect them. The clown, ar the clown around at the goal may look funny, but he's actually a huge pain. When he gets on his ball and rolls away, you better clear out too. That's actually a, an important hint. Let's see. 
Almost nailed it. I hate that arrow. Always pointing upwards. Man, what a pain. Also, heal me. Now it's costing 50. And 60. Yeah, now it's gonna cost more and more to, to get garlic from him. Ah, come on! You gotta be joking. Okay. You gotta be joking. Now I have to wait for cycles now. Alright, there we go. It there is a way to be able to clip through that and go through the go into the balls early. Anyway, plan around. Look at this lad. Yeah, that's yeah. This guy is kind of a creep. So he starts on the other side there. So there's really really much he can do. So remember how the uh, the guy uh, the sprite link told us uh, when he when you get when he gets off his ball at clear away. Uh, yeah, that's the main reason he wants. Also, yeah, this is what he looks like. Let's get a good look at his face. Yeah, let's make him eat dirt. And then we're gonna want to get on the ball. You cannot hit him while he's throwing the ball. Let's give him a little spinny funny. Just throw him off like that. Uh oh. Oh, he, he's thinking about it. All right, I'm just going to chill over here until he decides to come. Yep, he, now he's decided to come over. Up, oh, yep, and now he's going to... I also think how the hands get panicked when he starts... When he's about oh, oh yeah, I forgot, they start floating back up. Yeah, these, yeah, this is, this is where this fight gets annoying. These heads are annoying. You can't really kill them. Take me with you! <laughs> Look at that whole panic! Up, <laughs> oh, nope. I guess I'm stuck over here. Yeah, I got. I did. I didn't realize it could actually shut me off. Huh? Well, I guess you learn something new every day. Boom. There we go. Other than that, that was a good fight. Very good fight indeed. Uh, we might have some time to actually... Let's see. We actually have... You know what? Looking at the time, we might actually have enough time to fight the, uh, the next boss. Yeah, might as well clear the world while we're at it. Beautiful. <laughs> there it is then. Yeah, let's go. Let's go fight the uh, the world boss while we're at it, cause honestly, the world bosses don't take too long. Alrighty.
So, who are we fighting this time? It is called a dual dragon, and, uh... I mean, it is a dual dragon. Look at this guy. Look how funny looking they he is. I'm my number one! So, how do you fight these guys? Uh... Yeah, so, basically, in order to deal damage to them, you have to, you have to hit the, uh, the heads enough time to, uh, uh-oh, watch out for the, watch out for that one. Yep. Oop. Yeah, so. Yep, uh, falling in the water hurts you. There we go. There we go. Later phases, they start leaving behind, uh, fireballs. Okay, balls. Gotta watch out for the balls. Uh oh. Yeah, that counts as a hard knock down, by the way. Oh, get out of the fire. Alright. Really, balls again? There we go. Oh, I was, I was hoping for the uh, the funny Wario. Wow, wow, wow! As he gets hit by fire. Up, oh, nope. Wasn't enough to uh, to fully knock him down. Ooh. All right, there we go. And that's the fight. Simple fight, just uh, just beat him up a bunch. Not as fun as uh, Dino Mighty because you don't get to mess around too much. But at the same sense, I mean, I mean, they're goof they're goofy lads. What well, I I I love them, but not as much as Dino Mighty or the uh, or the next two bosses. All right. And with that, we have two keys. Two keys. All right. All right. Now let's just uh, jump off. I said jump off. I said jump. Jump off. There we go. It took four jumps. All right. Well. Well, let's end the episode off here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you did, uh, please, uh, please take it, please, uh, please consider subscribing if you like the content I do. Uh, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we'll be taking on World 3. And what I consider to be the worst level in the game. Of course, of course it's a, of course it's a snow level. Uh, I'm just gonna leave Wario right here. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Uh, have a have a good uh, day, night, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And until then, bye bye.